yes, I heard about it and I thought it was pretty, you know, kind of like surprising and uh, I, definitely one of those stories that you would see on uh, Netflix down the road. Yeah, this is pretty wild. Chief Saholic, the 29 year old wolf wearing accused bank robbing super fan now back in Kansas City and today his first local court date on federal charges for bank theft. And despite being accused of laundering around a million dollars using casino chips, Fox Wars Jacob Kittlestad reports the defendant, whose real name is Xavier Babadar, requested a federal public defender. Jake was in the courtroom for the proceedings today. Jake, what'd you learn? Well, for so long, nobody knew where he was, so it was somewhat shocking to see him brought into the courtroom by a guard wearing a yellow jumpsuit with his long, slicked back blonde hair. And there's a lot still ahead in this case to put this in perspective for you. He hasn't even pleaded guilty or not guilty yet. Making his first appearance at this courthouse, Xavier Michael Babadar, a.k.a. Chief Saholic, is back in his old stomping ground, a city where his wolf costume is recognizable, where his face may not have been. His face also unknown in a string of bank robberies laid out by prosecutors, weaving a narrative that the Chiefs fan was funding his game day travels by holding up financial institutions. But following an arrest in California, Babadar is charged with one count of bank theft and one count of transporting stolen property across state lines. This comes after prosecutors say he cut off an ankle monitor after being arrested for a bank robbery in Oklahoma. At that time, he provided his address as a mailbox in Overland Park in a strip mall off of Antioch. Customers out there say it just raises more questions. Receiving his mail right here. I mean, what do you think about that? Well, that's a little crazy, isn't it? I mean, that's a, that's a bizarre thing. But it's kind of funny to say that it just ran right here. You know, it's very, um, you know, it's kind of like there's nothing about it here. So it's kind of surprising. I, I definitely think there's some other uh, issues going on there besides just being a fan of the Chiefs. It sounds like there are uh, uh, maybe some care is needed there or, or some rehabilitation of some form. Now, also when arrested following a bank robbery in Oklahoma, the suspect here listed that his status was homeless. And again, as we brought up earlier, this was after prosecutors say he was already in the process of laundering about a million dollars in casino chips throughout this whole ordeal. Uh, Kevin and Shannon. Thank you, Jacob. Those details just are so interesting. Jacob Kittlestad live in KC Moe.